the pioneers go to Salt Lake Valley. The pioneers were still at Council Bluffs. They needed many strong men to help them travel. Most of the young men were with the Mormon battalion. So the pioneers decided not to go to the Rocky Mountains until spring. The Indians let the saints have some land on the other side of the river. There, the saints built a town named Winter Quarters. They made streets and built houses. Some houses were made of logs. Other homes were in caves in the side of the hills. The pioneers planted crops. Brigham Young divided the city into wards. He chose men to be bishops. Some Indians made trouble for the pioneers. The pioneers built a wall around the city to keep out the Indians who made trouble. While the pioneers were in winter quarters, Brigham Young had a revelation. The Lord told him how the people should get ready to leave. He told Brigham Young what the people should do as they traveled. The Lord said the people should be divided into small groups. Each group would have a leader. The people should obey their leaders. They should help each other. They should take care of families that had no father or mother. Each group should have its own wagons and food. Each group should have people who knew how to fix the wagons, build houses, plant crops, and build bridges. The Lord told the saints other things they should do. They should keep his commandments. They should keep their promises to each other. They should not say bad things about each other. They should be honest. They should give back things they borrowed or found. The Lord wanted the pioneers to be happy. He told them to sing and dance together. They should not be afraid. He would help them. He told them they would have troubles, but their troubles would make them better people. They would be blessed. Brigham Young did what the Lord told him to do. He divided the people into groups. Each group had everything they would need to build a city in the mountains. The saints had a conference. Then Brigham Young chose a group to leave first. There were 143 men, three women, and two children. The next day, the first group left winter quarters. Everyone had a job to do on the way. The women took care of the children. They cooked the food. The men all had guns to protect the people and animals. The pioneers traveled all day. At night, they camped. They put their wagons in a circle. The people and animals stayed inside the circle. They built fires and cooked their food. They danced and sang. One of the songs was, Come, Come Ye Saints. It made the people feel better. Do this and joy, your hearts will swell, all is well, all is well. A man blew a bugle to tell him it was time to go to bed. The pioneers said their prayers and went to sleep. The pioneers traveled a long way across the plains. They traveled for four months. They met other people on the way. Some of the people were trappers. They told Brigham Young not to go to the Rocky Mountains. They said crops would not grow there. Other people told Brigham Young to take the saints to California. But Brigham Young said the Lord had shown him where the saints should go. He would obey the Lord. At last, the pioneers came to the mountains. It was hard to travel there. Brigham Young got sick. He could not travel very fast. He chose some men to go ahead. He told them to go to the Great Salt Lake Valley. They should begin to plant crops. The men took their wagons over the mountains. They went down into the valley. They camped by a stream. They prayed to the Lord. They asked him to bless the seeds they were going to plant. The men planted the seeds. The next day, Brigham Young and the pioneers with him came to the valley. Brigham Young looked at the valley from his wagon. He knew it was the place where the Lord wanted the saints to live. Brigham Young said, this is the right place, drive on. 
the saints drove their wagons down into the valley. It was the 24th of July, 1847.